yesterday I did a video called Let's Just Think About Jesus. I knew it was going to ruffle some feathers, uh, and it has. Um, um, for clarity, the video came about because I was on TBN's uh, Instagram page, and somebody had commented on one of the posts. They were upset with everything, and they said, "I'm on." They said, and this was, they were writing to TBN. They said, "I'm unfollowing you, and I'm unfollowing Kirk Franklin, because I uh, follow you guys to hear about Jesus, to, just to see Jesus shine. I don't want to hear about all this other stuff." And that's where I got the idea from. It wasn't for me trying to shade anybody or trying to promote something else. That's that's where I got the idea from because I I hear that all the time, and and I get it. You know, it's like. I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear about the problems and all this kind of stuff. Let, come on, let's just sing about Jesus and let, let's let God handle this. But some stuff needs to be addressed. If, if, if you don't address a problem, address an issue, it just doesn't just go away. And uh, there are real problems out here in our society, within our churches, within our hearts. And a lot of time we don't want to talk about it. We don't want to discuss anything. If you're married, you know how it is. You know, you, you're you married. It's just it's just two of y'all. And even y'all don't agree on everything. Me and my wife don't agree on everything. But what I've learned is sometimes, you know, some, some stuff we get through and we find and we just keep going and love is in the air. But there's some stuff we got to sit down and talk about this. You know, some stuff got to be addressed because if it's not addressed, uh, we can kiss and make up, but it, but the problem is still there and it ain't going nowhere because we ain't talking about it. And that's the same way with the church. There's so many issues that we just avoid and we don't want to talk about it. Let, let, let's just come to church and smile and like, like everything is okay. And let's just sing about Jesus. So that's where the song was coming from. And, uh, I, I just want, I just want to, one thing I love about social media is I've got to interact with so many people, people from different backgrounds. I've talked to uh, atheists, atheists that 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 are follow the page. We don't agree on everything, but they but they follow the page. Uh, I've talked, I've I've, I've done a, a, a Trump video before, and I had some Trump supporters that were that were. Uh, that did not agree with me. And we talked and we inboxed back and forth and we uh, di we disagreed, but in love. And we still cool. And that that's how it ought to be. It, it shouldn't be like, man, we, as, soon as, as soon as we see something, we, we just get all riled up. And you, and you need to ask yourself, like, why, what's, what's wrong with me? Why am I getting that fired up about a, a, a little song uh, video that a person did. Maybe, is that is that the Holy Spirit within me or is, or is that something else? Is that flesh? Because I don't want to address some of the stuff that's in my own heart. Mm, I, I'm preaching right now. And, and, uh, and if we're, we, we, we all got different backgrounds, different beliefs, all kind of stuff. So we're not always going to agree on everything. But the least we can do is talk about some stuff, and we're we're not gonna, we're not going to always agree. I, I'll never forget. I was on Facebook. I did a post maybe about a month ago, and this this lady got in the comment section and she said, "Kevin, I disagree with you," and she stated why. And I was not upset with her at all, and I loved her comment, even though she disagreed with me. And this is why. She didn't put all caps. She didn't have to put all these exclamation marks. She didn't attack me. She didn't call me out of my name. She didn't say I was. She just said I disagree, and here's why. She did it uh, in love, and I talked. I said something to her back, and it was just it was great, and we disagreed. But that and that's how it ought to be in the body of Christ. But unfortunately, like certain things come up, it just it just strikes a chord. And I, like I say, when I did the video, I had certain people say, well, I'm unsubscribing to your page, Kevon, because I don't appreciate you bringing up this stuff and talking. And that's a shame. But it shows you the reality of, of church in general because you have a lot of pastors that won't talk about different things because they know folks get they get riled up. So I'm not, I'm not going to even talk about racism. I'm not going to even talk about sexism. I'm not going to talk about these things because I don't want I don't want folks to leave. I don't want to lose members. Then I don't want the ties to go down. Then I might have to take a pay cut or something. <laughs> so let me just let me just preach a happy message. Come on now.
Come on, let's just sing about Jesus. You see what I'm saying? So that's where the song came from. That's where the video came from. And um, I, I'm praying for a day where we can just not be so focused on on color, the color of our of our skin, and just be concerned about right and wrong, and and what's fair and what's unfair. And um, if, if 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 a black man gets shot 50 times <laughs> by the police and he was not doing anything wrong, and if I get on my Facebook page and say Wow, that that's just not fair. That's not right. You shouldn't have to come to me and be like, "Oh, you just trying to push this Black Lives Matter thing." What? The boy, the, the man got he got shot fifty times. What, what, what? Why can't you just say that's wrong? That's not fair. That's that's unjust. You know what I'm saying? Let's stop focusing on color and let's just focus on what's wrong and what's right. It shouldn't matter what color you are. If I if I see a white man getting mistreated, I should be like. White man, he deserve it. But then, if the same, if I see a black man get mistreated, then I, then all of a sudden, I got all this compassion. It shouldn't be that way. And we, and we're always talking about, uh, and that's what, then, that, and that's the irony in the song. Because I said, let's just sing about Jesus, and we want to sing about Jesus, and we want to hear about Jesus. But then we don't want to live like Jesus. We don't want to love like Jesus. Mm, I'm preaching right now. You see what I'm saying? So we all. We all, starting with me, we, we need to search our hearts and say, like, if there's anything in me, Lord. And a lot of times you won't know what's in you until it's brought up, until you talk about it. And there, there have been times I've talked to people that disagree with me or think something different, differently than what I think. And after talking to them, I've changed my viewpoint. Or I may not have changed my stance. But at least I, I better understand their perspective and where they're coming from. You see what I'm saying? So we 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 got we gotta we gotta mature. We gotta grow up and stop just getting so. Uh, come on, y'all. Come on. If if we if we gonna sing about Christ, then let then let's love like Christ. Um, and and, and that's what the Bible says. They they will know that we are Christians. By our love. Not, not how we love Christ. Not how we love God. But how we love one another. Ooh. And it, and it said one another. It didn't say how you love your black brother. It didn't say that. It, it, it didn't say how you, how you love your brown skinned brother. How, how, you love, how you love your white brother. It didn't say that. It just said one another. That, that's all of us. We all in there. We all the world. We all. Okay, let me start clapping. All right, I'm done.